Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Banner Saga. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and uh, leave. Make our way to Grothheim. I'm sure everything will be perfectly fine there. Grothheim's quite a few days out, says Krimmer. But nothing worse than crossing the wastes, I imagine. <laughs> if there's anywhere you want to, you might be safe from Dredge, it's there. You steal yourself for another long march, and half the town of Wormtoe joins you. Hey, cool. Plus 62 Varl. Plus 20 supplies. And of course, now we have weak morale. Kind of feeling like I should have rested. A woman's stifled screams fail to overly concern anyone. It was only a matter of time before the expectant mother gave birth. The caravan is simply excited by this first sign of new life since trip began. Um. Call for a day of rest and celebration. Let's do that. When the baby's cries replace the mother's, the entire caravan cheers. You raise your drink to the family, saying, Tomorrow, tomorrow we rest and feast to strength and long life. Again, everyone cheers, glad to forget their worries for some small time. Minus 10 supplies. Plus 15 renown. Ooh. And we're back down to weak morale. Jeez, people. Let's actually camp for a second. Let's see if we have enough uh, morale, uh, morale to help anyone. I can promote you. Let's go ahead and promote him. Uh, let's see. It's getting uh, another point of exertion, definitely. Um, kind of feel like maxing out uh, armor. There we go. And we're back to where we were before, and no one can, no one else can uh, level up. Uh, Krumer, I should probably put him into the uh, order. There you go. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. Stop having weak morale, people. The caravan consists of more clansmen than you ever expected. Accusations of stolen chickens, missing heirlooms, and concerns over daughters' virtues are the sorts of things you hear relentlessly. Even fighters complain of spreading too thin to protect everyone. <clears throat> um... Try to keep people useful and too busy for petty squabbles, kind of sound. Uh, or, oh. Form a council to handle these problems. I like that idea. You select a few older members to solve everyday issues, but infighting neuters their progress. Damn it. Other members feel they could do a better job. Ultimately, while it buys some time, the council dissolves, tired of the thankless and demanding work. Well... You haven't seen a let for much of the day. When you do find her, she's returning to camp alone from a fair distance away, looking rather sullen. She keeps her eyes to the, on the ground as you approach. Well, let's sit quietly beside her. I feel like things are changing so quickly, she eventually confides. It's not just that. Everything is going so wrong. I've been... Oh... I've been talking to Echel a lot. What has he been telling you? He told me how he and Onef are kin. Echel had a sister th who married Onef, but she died a long time ago. They've been bound since, but Onef left without him. Just left him behind without a word. That's why he came after us. It's not fully kin. Don't trust that man. I am, says Alette. I'm not stupid, you know. I don't go alone. I always bring Odleif with me. She stalks off back to the Back to camp. At least with Oddleif there, you feel a little better about things. Not sure about that I am thing. Is that I am trusting him or I am not trusting him? I'm not sure. Oh, hey, another godstone. And we have poor morality.
Hey, there's Krummer there. The Godstone of Merrick looms into view. Upon it carved a great ocean beast. Jagged stones jut out of the snow like shark fins. Do, do we know about sharks? It's hard to imagine the Nordfelling wastes being filled with water at one time, but the Godstone stands as a reminder of the vast lake it used to look across. A blessing, shouts one of the men in your caravan, holding up what looks like a silver coin. It's a fish scale, he says, pointing out the rainbow pattern that shows in the sunlight. Soon, a curious child has found another hiding in the snow, and then a third is discovered. Perhaps I'll bring us luck, you overhear. Before long, the caravan has become obsessed with gathering the shiny scales. Um, let the caravan take their time. By the end of the second day, the scavenger hunt still continues unabated, and even you are starting to feel something in the back of your mind, like... You need to have one of the scales. You shake it off, uncertain whether to let this continue. Let's get the caravan out of here. You start to wonder if something unnatural has a hold on their minds when the call to leave is met with open aggression. Ivor helps you get them moving again. Wonder how long they would have kept searching if you let them. Well, crap. Probably should have done that, uh... Move them on after a reasonable amount of time. Since we did lose two days. Oh well. Is Grafheim right around here? The burning one? Oddleif calls you over, grinning. A row of women holding bows, of differing age and experience, line up before a row of trees in the distance. They fire, doing an impressive job of hitting the trunks. I think they're ready to fill some of some dredge with sh bleh, dredge with feathers. Ooh, are we gonna get a new character? Oh, I think we are. One woman still hasn't shot her arrow. She stands perfectly sti still. The others watch. Just as the winds shift, she lets go, and her arrow's arrow flies not into one of the trees, but a snow rabbit that had scurried out from underneath. Dinner, she says, smiling. A group of men from the caravan approach. Listen here, says one. Practice all you want. My wife isn't fighting dredge. The other men agree in chorus. We don't want to see a battlefield full of dead wives and daughters. Stand by the women becoming fighters. The men argue their point, but eventually relent. Thanks, says Oddleif. To be honest, it was harder than I expected. But the more people who can hold their own, the better. The women return to camp, not just as clansmen, but as fighters. Are we going to get minus something clansmen, plus something fighters? Plus 25 fighters. Minus 35 clansmen. How does that work out? Did 10 of them die? While walking, the word of a um, mother's song reach out, reach you. It's soothing, nuanced, and about your current journey. When she finishes, a man begins a tale of his own in verse. The woman quickly responds with another poem, and the entire caravan slows to listen to the entertaining competition. Uh, ignore the poetry content and keep an ear out for danger. The laughter and cheers continue behind you as you put some space between you to remain undistracted. The male contestant soon admits defeat, and the clansmen quickly march on, thankful for the lighthearted distraction. And boom. <laughs> Briefly went up to uh, normal morale, and then back down a week. Fantastic. You hear a whistle on the wind, and spot a long line of Varl far up ahead, heading toward you. Behind them is a swarm of dredge, and a trail of bodies leading off in the, into the distance. Get down there, barks Krummer. <laughs> we could camp right now. Don't let them spread out, shouts the, lead, shouts the lead Varl as you approach the battleground. Soon you almost regret finding yourself fighting alongside them, facing off against a daunting number of dredge. I guess we didn't get that archer lady, did we? Dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn. A fight seems inevitable. You take a quick head count. There must be at least 156 of them. You have 137 fighters and 62 Varl at your side. The two forces are about evenly matched. There is no guarantee of victory here. Charge! You consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge, battering down the enemy. It will throw you into the thick of battle where the fighting is most dangerous, but a strong charge can save lives. Rush into battle! Of course, we are weak morale. You gather your allies and tell them to get ready to lead the attack. Well, we got Fasalt here. 
We saw him earlier, didn't we? Yes, we did. Who do I want to, uh... Kick out and... Excuse me, in favor of him. He's level 2, after all. I suppose I could kick out Onef. Let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully I will not regret this choice. I do not remember what uh, Fessel skills are. Oh, that is annoying. Wow, 20 Stone Guard Colossus. Shield Slam causes knockback to all adjacent units doing armor damage. I don't like the sound of that. That guy has 21 armor. Good lord. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Alright, let's see. What else do we have? Inferno Slinger. Spark Slinger. Spark Slinger. Flame Slinger. Okay. And oh, a vicious grunt. You have again Malice 1, taunt one adjacent unit, causing them to attack you on their next turn. Mm, I don't know. Well, let's go. We have three out of four. Let's see. Battering Ram, Wood. Battering ram on. Nope, can't. Wait, no, maybe we can. Let's see. Nope, we can't. Okay. Just attack him. Four armor damage. A little bit of extra there. that do? Select one adjacent ally to move next to initiative. No? Okay, that's fine. Two out of four. Let's not use any right now. What is your ability? Uh, Malice one, that's right. Life. Um, I guess we're gonna focus on. Nope. On going after these slingers over here, I think. With our archers. Ah, dang it. Probably means that they're gonna move with. Yep. Move within range and uh, use their abilities on me. I'd have to use two to get within range. Hmm. Oh, she's got a fair amount. Let's go ahead and do that. I can just blow it all and uh, focus on uh, knocking that guy's armor down. Oh, especially since he just moved within range of that guy. Alright, Ivor. Battering Ram might be good.
kind of wish I had swapped these two positions, because he could have moved down there. Well, no, there's not much. Right, let's move up there. And battering ram on him. There we go. Just move him out of the way at least. damage? Yeah. You take him out. Excellent. Hey, he can pr be promoted. Nice. Ow. That's annoying. Let's move her up. Two. Yeah, let's go get some extra. Move him out of the way. Okay, he's gonna have to move, but that's okay. He... we... could mark prey is... no. Just do that. I'm surprised he didn't move. Hmm. Thought he was gonna move. Her there, so we could mark prey. Just do six. Get an extra attack out of that. What is he gonna do? On her, okay. You just go ahead and do some damage. Run back. Keep him stuck back there, that's very nice. Range of that. Five damage. Sure. Take him out next turn. And do a little bit of damage to that guy. Of course, now this guy can move it to range. It's annoying. Oh well. Not much you can do. I'm going to move him this way so that he's closer. Uh, I think we've got this up here. So he can come down here next and uh, start focusing on helping these uh, guys out. Right, Oddly, move her over here. What is this guy? What is that? That's that guy, okay. Let's do some armor damage on him. This was a probably going to go on after that guy. on him. Just the one. Hmm. I expected a little bit more from that. Oh well. Alright, Alette. Let's still attack both of them, so take him out. She's ready for promotion. Excellent. Him. Ugh. Let's get it really close to these guys. Um, turn that off for a second. Let's see. Seven out of two? Yeah, let's take him out. Excellent. No damage on him. Good. All right. Um, red three, we can take him out. Do that. And just for now. That. Ooh. Oh. That might have been a bad idea. Uh, let's use two so we can start moving him in closer.
he is almost dead. That is very much less than good. Her over here, even though that's even farther away. Okay, she's ready for a promotion. Fantastic. And he goes down. Damn it. Alright, let's get him over this way so we can start getting them close in and uh, take, working on them. Ow! Him up here. Focus on the armor. Get him out of the way. Of course, he's going to go over here and what's he going to do? Move him back. Ooh, quite a bit of uh, armor damage on him. All right, let's get you in. Two. Let's go up to four. We really need to start doing a lot of damage to that guy's armor. Don't see much happening in that regard, though. Good turn. Okay. Oh. Ivor is in a really bad way. him there. If I can get Rook back around here, then uh, I can probably mark Prey. Three. Okay. Excellent. Ooh, nice. What's your bonus uh, armor break? Attack. Two. I should do a bit more. And then... Nice! Wow. Uh, much better than I was expecting. Alright, Ivor is in pretty bad shape, but if you can uh, do some armor damage on him, or bump that up a bit. And Ivor is down, fortunately. Okay. There. Actually, I can't mark, mark Prey now because I think he's out of, uh, um... Physically hurting him. That probably uh, time to do that now. Twelve. Oh, yeah. Nice. Seven. Oh, I should have bumped him up a bit. At least he's blocked that guy now. That's pretty awesome. That worked out really nice. I think Oddleif's out of the battle for now. Like, the Salt is kind of out of the battle for now. Um, let's move up there. Um, nine damage on you? Oh, yeah. Start working on you. Now you're trying to summon something. Hopefully I will get to that. Yeah, I think I'll get to you before uh, you can do anything, so that's good. Um, you can... Oh, just can't quite... I suppose I could use one to uh, move you in closer, so... Uh, I should have done it before I moved. I'm stupid. Oh, well. That was a waste. Salt is in bad shape, but uh, let's see. Both four out of seven, so. 
Let's just do a little bit of damage to you. Bring you up there, Oddleif. damage to him. Alright, let's go ahead and take him out. Before you can summon anyone, there we go. We have her. She can take that one out. Let's just do that. Get that one taken care of. And Fasalt goes down. Okay. Um, save Renown for another person. Well, I can do Mark Prey on this guy, I suppose. that. There we go. And that one goes down. And only the archers were left. You take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. You could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge would rally your fighters and save a few lives. Pull back before they regroup. <laughs> the dredge give you a wide berth and scatter into the distance. Uh, minus nine fighters, minus four power. Uh, you okay? So, once again, not doing so well in these combats. Oh well. Isn't this a damn curiosity? This is the second time I've been sent to find a Varl who is heading my direction with humans in tow. What are the dredge doing up here? Gods, does nobody know what's going on around here? They leveled Grothheim to the ground. We've been losing ground for days. Jorinder's in... Einertoft now. They sent me to gather Krumer and the rest of the world... The rest from Wormtoe when we ran across this bunch of slag. There's a lot more where they came from. Is this all the Varl you've got, Krummer? What have you been doing? Eating each other? Many went to Blot's Bulker. Are you telling me Grothheim is completely gone? And Wagner's dead. Slag on our heels. The Varl you sent off north are probably dead. The world's ending. Come on, this is old news. We're gathering an Einertoft. That's where we need to go right now. Wait. Fasolt takes a long moment to look out over the caravan of men, women, and children behind you. Not them. What do you mean, not them? Unless you're a king or a mender, humans don't step foot in Einertoft. Now isn't the time for this discussion. Damn it, Fasolt, who cares about that? What in, depths, what in the depths happened at Grothheim? Before Fasolt can reply, a low rumble grabs your attention, growing louder by the moment. Oh dear. Well. Before we find out what's happening, I'm going to cliffhanger you all. We'll see you in the next episode.